Hi, in this series we're going to be going over the triads on the, uh, the D, the G, and the B strings. This time uh, we're going to do one on the bottom, three in the middle, and five on top. And uh, So let's just go ahead and start out with, uh, with G. And uh, G, of course, the bar chord is down here. And if you don't know what a bar chord is, of course, you know there's the music theory videos and there's the other videos that are offered on this site to give you a better idea. In fact, there, there's a video specifically dedicated to defining a bar chord and telling you what it's about and what it is and what it does. I highly suggest you watch that video uh, if you don't know what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and start because this, this triad and a lot of the triads that I'm showing you are integral, are really integral parts of that bar chord, of this bar chord that is G or A or whatever. This is called the E form bar chord. So without getting too much into that, I just recommend you Watch that, uh, watch that video and, uh, and try and soak that up and see what you can get from there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start uh, the, first, the first chord. And we're going to do four chords like we have uh, been doing in the other triads. Uh, we're doing the one, three, five uh, type of triad. And the first, the first type is going to be a major, and then a minor, and then a diminished, and then an augmented. And the formula for all these chords, uh, in case you don't have your PDF handy, of course, we do recommend downloading the PDFs uh, and having them open in a separate window while you're watching these videos uh, to, to, get, to get the, basically to get the gist <coughs> of what's going on and to understand the stuff a little better. Uh, but the, the formulas for these chords are as follows. Major is 1, 3, and 5. Minor is 1, flat 3, and 5. So the 3 gets pulled down a half step. Uh, diminished is one flat three flat five, and then the augmented chord is one natural three or just three, and then the five is sharped. And uh, anytime you move the five around, remember uh, it's a big deal. So let's go ahead and start with G major down here on the uh, on the third fret. My index finger is on the second string in on the third fret, and uh, if you your PDF out, you can kind of figure it out. It's just sort of a natural stair-stepping kind of position here. And uh, so this is the 1-3-5 triad on the D, G, and B string. Here we go. And fundamentally, if you move this up or down, you know, if you move it two frets up, that's an A, 1-3-5, two more frets, B, 1-3-5, C sharp one three five C one three five. Remember B is right before C, so if you just move it one fret, you get the half step thing in there. So let's go back down to G. And do it one more time. And you can play this with your fingers. You can play with a pick. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I suggest that you uh, just play it. Just go ahead and play it. Get used to these forms. This one's kind of a, a really kind of a useful one. It's it's pretty easy. Um, it is on the D, the G, and the B strings, and there is some kind of a discontinuity there. You probably notice that things are symmetrical from the bottom all the way up until you get to about the B string, and then there's that cut right there where the, where the B string is a fret higher. Uh, that does affect uh, the triads in that area a little bit, but this one really doesn't, isn't affected, or at least not enough to really throw you off. It's, it's kind of an easy pattern to recognize. So, one, three, and five. One, three in the middle, and five on top. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next triad. In this next set of triads, um, we're going to be doing the, um, the same type of, of, uh, of arrangement. We've got the one at the bottom, the three in the middle, and the five on top, except it's a minor. And what do we have to do when we do a minor chord? Well, it's pretty easy. We have to just take the third, which in this case is the middle note, and move it down one half step. So this is our default position for major. Now what we have to do is take this middle note and essentially just go ahead and bar it back here with our index finger because the next note down is the same fret our index was in down here anyway, so we're just going to bar it. And then we can get it done this way. So you can kind of hear the difference between the major and then the minor. Listen to the difference, major, minor. It's pretty pronounced. It's pretty easy to uh, identify. And fundamentally speaking, just like with the rest of the chords and triads and everything in the music, basically, 
if you trap all the notes and you move them up, you're just playing that same chord, or same type of chord, should I say, with a different name. So this is G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, so on and so forth. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next type. This next type of triad on the D, G, and B strings is called the diminished chord and uh, it's the one that generates a lot of tension and the reason it does is because the fifth note is moved down. So in this case uh, the thirds moved down too so we gotta flat the third and we also have to flat the fifth. Remember the ones on the bottom, the ones pretty stationary doesn't do a whole lot of movement so let's take the three and the five and flat them. So what happens is, is we move this down one and move this down one and this is what we got. Uh, this is kind of easy for me because my hands are big but, so, but you know, it might not be easy for you. If it's not, just go ahead and sub your pinky in over here and then just keep your, your middle on this one and then your index back here. So it sounds like it's going to go minor but it actually goes diminished because we take the fifth and flat the fifth as well. And just like all diminished chords, if you take this, move it up three frets, it's the same group of notes, just arranged in different order. So you might want to try that. Just go ahead and move it up three frets, move it up again, move it down, you know, the other way, three frets and so on. And it's sort of the symmetrical inversion. It does it all by itself. It doesn't take a whole lot of head work, which is good if your head's already full. So diminished is just a flat three and a flat five. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next form. This next form is the augmented form, and we're on the D, G, and B string. And uh, our default position, major position, is just a, a natural stair-stepping type of position. You know, we did minor, we did diminished, and now we're going to do augmented. And augmented, really, all it is, you just take a major chord, just like this, and you sharp the fifth. The fifth is up here, so just move it up then release it back down to its original position. So there's sort of a tension and release with augmented. Same for diminished, uh, the tension's a little more severe with diminished than it is for augmented. Augmented is kind of the laid back uh, form of the diminished chord. The five goes the other way, it doesn't really do a whole lot more um, than the diminished. In fact, the diminished I think trumps uh, the augmented. Watch out for the five. And this has been a, uh, a video concerning the, the one on the bottom, three in the middle, five on top on the D, G, and B strings. And my name is Stu Johnson. I'm with Second Floor Studios. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please uh, download our supplemental PDFs. Those will help you understand a lot more as well as uh, delve into our music theory section and our songwriting section. Uh, basic songwriting is what we have now. Uh, there are a lot more videos on the way, so please stay tuned. Um, if you are a subscriber, we appreciate your business. Please give us your feedback, and we'll see you at lessons. Thanks a lot, and take care of yourself. Bye now.